Well, story time. I think it's an appropriate story for this time of year. It is the end of March, and um, I can't help this time of year but think about some selling that I did a few years ago for a client here in Massachusetts. This was a high-tech company. I think it was called Technomed. I think that was the company. They're up in uh, Marlboro or something, Massachusetts. Anyway, this was one of the very first digital print jobs I ever did. And um, we were going to take their commercially printed, you know, half web stuff and bring it over to a small quantity on demand. And it took me a year to finally get this sale. Problem was, they also took that, uh, they took the opportunity to rewrite all the documentation. So as we approached the end of March, we had a ship date that we had to hit. You know, we got to get this out by the 31st. And the problem is we didn't know what the page count was. So I couldn't give the, the buyer, the print buyer, a woman by the name of Joanne Mills, I couldn't give her an accurate price. So she said to me, look, here's the PO number. She shook a finger at me and said, don't take advantage of me. Here's the PO number. Let me know what the price is. I said, okay. So the time's getting closer, and I'm working with Jill Kachinos, the, uh, the, te the technical writer there, and uh, a friend of mine a long time ago. And anyway, we're, we're getting close to, to March 1st, and we're sweating it out. Finally, the, 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 the uh, text gets written, and the copy's all done, and we get everything done, and perfect. Ships on the 31st. I sent an email off to uh, email. We have email back then? Let's see. I know we had sunlight and light fixtures, but maybe it was just a fax. But I got the price off to Joanne. Job ships perfectly. So the next day, I'm in a meeting in Boston with my then partner, Len Peterson, and my phone rings, my cell phone rings, probably a bag phone at that point, right? And, um, and I pick up the phone, and it's Joanne. I said, oh, hi, Joanne. Did you get the pricing okay? She said, yeah, the only problem is I'm not paying it. I said, what? She said, Bill, you know, you went from $8 a book to almost $27 a book. She said, that's outrageous. I told you not to take advantage of me. I'm not paying that. You need to do something about it. And I'm panicking. And all I could think of was, just, just go back over the facts. You know? So I said, Joanne, look, we're not printing up 15,000. We're printing up five sets of 100. Uh, I mean, the, the economy's of scale. And, and, and by the way, the page counts have changed. And we're not doing binders in this thing. And we're doing, we're doing um, Wiro or something. And I'm going on and on. And I take a breath. And I hear her giggling. I said, are you laughing? She said, yeah. I said, why are you laughing, Joanne? She said, Bill, I'm just pulling your leg. Happy April Fool's Day. What she told me, true story, what she told me was that she got one of her other sales reps on the phone and um, she played a practical joke on him. And his response to your price is to why I'm not paying it was, well, I can bring the price down. And she was really taken aback. So she called a second sales rep. Second sales rep said, oh, don't worry, Joanne, I'll, I'll knock something off that. Third sales rep, same thing. Fourth sales rep, I'm the only one that didn't drop my price. She said, I vowed that I would keep calling my salespeople until someone stood their ground. She said, game over. So the lesson here, it's a great story, and it's a true story, be careful next week. Be very careful next week.